Hey, Vinny here, just warming up for fall tour, getting ready, uh, by doing a little playing and a little cooking. Today I'm cooking up some Halloween treats while you're gaming. Uh, I'm going to make a little pizza so you can eat and play at the same time. Uh, I'm making a broccoli pizza because I've made pizza before. I wanted to teach you guys how to make something real simple. Broccoli white pizza, it's my favorite. We'll see you then. All right, we're going to get our dough onto the pan. First I put a little grease. I usually will use a coconut oil or a little shortening. Just a very fine layer of grease on the pan so that the pizza dough doesn't stick. Now I usually buy pizza dough because it's easier to make, plus I don't have high gluten flour, yada yada, blah blah blah. Um, but we'll get this thing spread out. You know, you want to get it pretty thin so it fits your pan. And then I usually just spread it out to the sides a little. So now we're spread out. Uh, we're gonna put our cheese on. I got a blend of uh, mozzarella and, uh, I don't know, it's one of those blends you buy in the store, five cheese, whatever. It's got Asiago, Parmesan, a bunch of different stuff. So put this on to the dough. No sauce, you notice that? No sauce on this pizza. Because it's white, except for it's actually green because it's broccoli. But, now, optionally, you can throw garlic powder on here too. It just depends on how garlicky you want it. You can add onions to your broccoli. It depends on how you cook it. All right, so we're gonna get started here. Uh, real simple, crank, it, crank up our stove. Mm, Medium-ish. Put some olive oil in the pan. A little butter too. If you're a mom and dad and you get home from work and uh, don't have a lot of time to cook and you want to make something that has you know, garlic in it, this is a great thing to have. Pre-chopped. So I have a bunch of non-pre-chopped, but I also have a little pre-chopped so that I can add a little to it just because I want to have a lot of garlic in here. We're going to start with that. Get this thing cranking. Again, my uh, cat Ziggy loves to be in these videos. Here he is. He loves to eat. He's a pain in my butt, but I love him. So say hi, Zig. Say bye. Now for all you germaphobes, I'll wash my hands because I just held my cat, even though he's clean. Oh, stop. I'm gonna get this going real nice. Another thing I'm gonna add to this is a little bit of crushed red pepper because you want to have a little, little spice to it. All right, we got a good saute going on this stuff. We're gonna add our broccoli. Gonna get it mixing around here. You wanna, you wanna coat it all. Get it coating. Get all that flavor running throughout. Now, it's optional but I usually throw a little bit of basil in, usually the dry kind, because it for some reason goes a little better with pizza and this, so unless you're making a margarita pizza. Just a little, you don't need a lot, because you're not trying to basil flavor it, just add a little depth on it. You can add a little salt, a little bit of pepper. Give it a couple more stirs. And I always like to uh, add a little broth to this, just to get the broccoli to, to steam down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna keep it vegetarian tonight, so I'm gonna use some veggie broth, uh, veggie or chicken broth, either one. And it's not a ton, it's just kind of to get a little steam on it. And then you, it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of juice to this to add onto your pizza. So I'm not talking about a lot. I mean, you're talking very little and most of that will steam off, so. Let that go for a few minutes. In the meantime, while this is cooking, we're gonna go over and get our pizza shell. 
I'm kind of OCD about stuff, so like I want to make sure that it's very evenly <laughs> spaced around the pie. Like so. And now we're going to put it in the oven. All right, let's get this in the oven here. So our pizza's done. Let's cut it up. And if I had some sons or daughters here playing games, I'd serve it to them while they were playing games. But I don't, so we'll cut it up and eat it ourselves. Also great to have a pizza cutter when you're making pizza. Tools of the trade always make for the best outcome. Wouldn't you say, guys? I'd like to welcome my lovely wife home from work. Hi, Deb. Hi. Would you like a slice? Sure. Okay. For my kitchen to yours, bon appetit. Mm. Awesome. Cheers.